Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG News. All is the son of Nube is my name. I hope you are all good and already geared up for the weekend that's coming ahead. Um, I just thought I should uh, respond to a question which has been asked a number of times by people who are using the ZEP and those who are not using the ZEP. Somebody sent me a message the last person who asked about this, uh, deep in the night, asking if it's true that people who don't have the Zimbabwe exemption permit, that is the ZEP in short, can or are allowed to apply for a waiver. This is the question that has been asked a number of times by different people. And they've been getting varying replies, mixed messages as to whether or not they are allowed to apply for a waiver. So before I go ahead and address this, because I hope this is the last time that we are going to address this, uh, may I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. We are doing this so that we don't have to keep answering the same question because there are a number of burning questions that we keep on receiving every day and we cannot respond to all of them if we have to keep on repeating the same answers to the same questions that we have been asked before so now let me go straight into the question is a Zimbabwean who is not on the ZEP allowed to apply for a waiver? And the answer is yes. But there are conditions to that. You will have to note that um, just like permits, the waiver did not start in 2021 or 2022 when Zimbabweans had to apply for them so that they would try and apply for the mainstream South African permit. Just as Zimbabweans who are not on ZEP are allowed to apply for permits, Zimbabweans who are not on ZEP can apply for a waiver. Just as any person from anywhere in the world is allowed to apply for a South African permit for a South African waiver. Even Zimbabweans who are not on the ZEP can apply for both a permit and a waiver. But the circumstances or the treatment is different between the two sectors of Zimbabweans. Those who are on the ZEP, regardless of what qualifications they have, regardless of uh, what job they do or they are doing in South Africa, regardless of the size of their businesses, they are supposed to apply for a waiver as long as they do not meet the qualification criteria in order for them to apply for a mainstream South African visa. Of course, this applies to everyone. But with the ZEP people, they have a specific uh, sort of favor that they are getting from the Department of Home Affairs, which states that for as long as you are on ZEP, therefore, some of these uh, requirements become a formality. You just, just write that uh, letter stating what you want to be um, wavered, including the need for there to be an advert on a newspaper before you were employed, before, uh, regardless of, I mean, issues like uh, you having to be in your country of origin or having enough days in South Africa in order for you to apply for a payment. So there are some specifics that are certainly put aside for those that are already on the ZEP. 
But now, if you are not on the ZEP, you are allowed to apply for both a waiver and a permit, or either of the two, uh, depending on your particular circumstances. So, first and foremost, I will need to explain what a waiver is. It is a request by a, 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 a foreigner, let me say a migrant, to the Department of Home Affairs to leave aside specific requirements for any type of visa that they want. Uh, so the waiver will allow the person to apply for a visa without providing all the required documents. But you have to keep in mind that waivers are issued not in every circumstances. And there has to be a specific visa that you have to apply for. So you, you can apply for a waiver if you are you can apply for it in South Africa if you meet uh, some of the following criteria. You have to, uh, if you cannot provide a police clearance certificate uh, because you have been in South Africa for some time, maybe on a different type of visa, then you want to renew that visa or you were on a visitor's visa, you want to change your status or the status of your visa while already in South Africa or you have been in South Africa for more than six months and you cannot go back to your country of origin to get this uh, clearance certificate. Then you can apply for this to be waived, to be set aside, in short. Or if you cannot return to your country to apply for a temporary Z residence visa, which is about to expire, but it's still valid. So because for one reason or another, you cannot go back to your country to apply for a renewal or a residence visa. Then you can apply for a waiver. Maybe you came again as a tourist and then you decide you need to stay here or you want to stay here. Then you cannot do that by returning first to your country and then applying from there. Then you can apply for this uh, requirement to be waivered. When uh, you apply to reduce the requirement the required investment amount of 5 million rands for a business visa. So you are already operating a business. Uh, you want to have a business visa. And you don't meet the threshold of 5 million rands. Then you can apply for this provision to be set aside. Or when you don't have, you are one person who is listed, who's profession is listed or qualification is listed under the critical skills visa or any other form of visa that a, a migrant can apply for in South Africa but you don't meet the specific NQF that is the national qualifications framework uh, that is required or is needed in order for you to apply for that critical skills visa but you can meet that with experience then you can apply for this to be waived because let's say you are a, a, an engineer, it is listed under the critical skills, but you don't meet a specific requirement, maybe for a university degree or maybe a master's degree, but you have a diploma and maybe 10 years experience or five years experience, then you can apply for a waiver for the specific qualification to be set aside because you meet it with experience. When uh, your business applies for a blanket waiver for an identical requirement for the corporate visa, or when an applicant wants to waive the D Department of Labor certificate, where you need to have a Department of Labor certificate, but you, for specific reasons, there must be valid reasons, then you can set this aside. So I hope uh, I have responded to your questions because we've been getting a lot of these with people saying that, we have been told that we cannot apply for a waiver, blah, 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 because it's for people with the ZEP. The waiver predates the ZEP, just like South African permits predate the Zimbabwe dispensation or special dispensation project. So Zimbabweans were allowed to apply for mainstream visas in South Africa even before the ZEP, even before the ZSP, and even before the DZP. But there were certain criteria that they were supposed to meet. 
In the same vein, Zimbabweans were allowed to apply for waivers even before the cancellation of the ZEP or even before the introduction of Zimbabwean special permits. And any person can apply for a waiver in South Africa. So I hope this explains it. But you have to have uh, a specific uh, reason why you are applying for a waiver. It is not a one-size-fits-all, but I hope this explains everything to you. If you want to try, give it a, a, a shot, just do it. But don't have any guarantees like those who are on the ZEP because those who are on the ZEP are most likely to get the waivers that are applied for regardless of their qualifications, regardless of their um, professions. So this is what I thought I had to tell you this Friday. Thank you very much for tuning in. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.